Hello and welcome to Uncle Heavy Gaming and Fails. Well, I will try to focus on the fails more than gaming, but I thought that for the first video here, I should try for something good. Now, I will be sailing in a Udachi, which is the ship that we see here. The ship itself is very, very um, awkward. Now, why do I say that? First of all, it's got five guns, but it's not a gunboat. If you spec yourself to be a gunboat, you're setting yourself up for failure. Only five guns at tier seven. Other ships got six at least. So do they fire fast? No, not at all. Like I always say five guns, but at least they're crap. <laughs> also, their turning radius is horrible. It takes 30 seconds for them to rotate 180 degrees. Any DD that you encounter can kill you. Easy. If the DD wants to kill you, they will do so. With ease. So, Yudachi is a torpedo boat. Also, it has a torpedo reload booster. Yay, you say, that's awesome, that's great, I'm gonna torpedo so much. No, no, actually you won't. Despite their monumental range of 15 kilometers, they are awesomely slow. They are so slow, in fact, that the glaciers can speed past them. No, I'm not kidding, really, I'm not. They hit reasonably hard, 15,000, nearly 16,000 damage. And you get two launchers, four torpedoes each. So, in eight seconds, you can dump 16 torpedoes. Make a dedicated torpedo soup. But that is your only trick you have. As you can see, your spotting distance is 6 km.1, which is not very good. Well, I mean, you still keep your smoke, but your trick is to, one, take the torpedo acceleration, which will drop your, uh, drop your torpedo range to 12 km, which is very, very functional tier 7. If you meet tier 9 ships, wait, that's extra XP. Now, I'm trying to capture B, because I'm in a, in a group with my friend Sid here in York. He's giving me some cover, and here we have Bliskavica. Immediately I pop smoke, because Bliskavica can and probably will kill me in a in couple of seconds. No problem whatsoever. But I don't know what this guy is doing. Honestly, instead of charging me, and killing me, he turns away. He dumps half-hearted torpedoes. Obviously, he misses. So it's my turn. Dumping eight torpedoes and laying low. This is what I'm doing. See, these torpedoes, <laughs> without torpedo acceleration, they are immensely... I don't know why I have turned on the AA here. AA on this ship is so pathetic that it's, it's just a token. Two 40mm cannons. That's all there is. Nothing. And here's the first blood award. Congratulations to the blindest DD player on EU server. <laughs> well, you know what? I'll take it. Let's go on. Let's continue capping. Here we have Charles Maltel. So, you know what? some semi-predictive torps in his general direction maybe i get lucky maybe i don't who knows we'll see anyway like i said yudachi it has only one trick and that's its torpedo reload booster if you miss like i just missed the charm i'll tell you are boned you're screwed that's it you cannot outgun anything. Well, maybe a shiratsuyu at tier 6 because only it has 6. Ah, here's my friend Sid in York giving cover and trying to help me cap. Thanks, Sid. Um, just be aware that you can get Citadel very easily. Oh, also, pay attention to the enemy group uh, of uh, consisting of West Virginia and that other French whatever his name is, BB, they're gonna kick our ass so hard, well played, honestly, well, well played, guys, congrats. So, B is capped, what to do now? Trick is not to be seen. If you are seen, you're either sunk or you will be sunk very soon, so. What to do, what to do? A Charles Martel tier eight, this is a tier match, a tier eight match, mm. Pretty decent. 
it can easily easily sink me if it spots me so the trick is not to be seen pay attention to the enemy Bayern right there behind the island at uh, h4 uh, he's gonna he's gonna get an award for being the one of the blindest players in this match uh Briskovica captain understanding so uh your detection radius is 6.1 that's the best you can get it down you do not get into gunfights you do you're screwed your aa sucks absolutely positively sucks and so what is this ship good for well it's good to show your metal of course any victory in Udachi is worth double at least <laughs> i have seen um some some stats for Udachi. for example there are dds with over five million or so games played for i don't know a certain period of time in that certain period of time and here comes the first torpedo on the buyer and he keeps on pushing uh, here we see Sid in his natural habitat, hugging the island. Very good, Sid. Good job. Good man, Sid. He likes his islands. And here's another torpedo on Bayern. And I, is he trying to reverse? I don't know. He's flooding. So thank you for playing. See you later, Bayern. And that's my second kill. Torpedo on Yudachi. Not that they're just slow, they're seen from the moon. <laughs> they're spotting radius and, by the way, pay attention to York, he's about to eat a couple of torpedoes. And yeah, not very good. And Charles Martel is going to have the final say on my friend's game. So, yes, it better luck next time. There we go. Down he goes, Davy Jones locker. So yes, those torpedoes. They can be spotted from 1.9 kilometers away. And that is actually buffed because they had, Wargaming had a brilliant idea of saying that these torpedoes can be seen as Shimakaze's, what's the name, F2? Yeah, from 2.5 kilometers. Uh, I'm very glad that they didn't because that would completely, completely destroy the ship. I mean, Yudachi as a premium is so rarely played. I was talking about some DDs that had like 5.5 5 .5 million games played in a certain uh, time period. Yudachi in the same time had only 46,000. So whoever plays this either is a very, very good player or an idiot like yours truly. That's me, by the way. So look at uh, I fired a lot of torpedoes. Oh, by the way, Charmaltel eating two torpedoes that can be seen from Mars, Moon, wherever from. Congrats, man. Thank you. Thank you for the free damage. Thank you for playing. I think he's going down very soon anyway. I mean, these torpedoes are slow. With all the gi gimmicks and gadgets that you can add with the new uh, equipment, this these torpedoes can reach only 40 uh, 64.8 I think doesn't doesn't really matter slow highly visible torpedoes the best choice is to get up close drop the torpedo soup sink something get the hell out because if you try to snipe with these torps from far away mm -mm, that's not gonna work that's not gonna work they they they're spotted easily and anyone with a, with a, with their eyes open will just avoid them but anyway Yes, North Carolina Tier 8 BB with a very, very big guns. Very, being very useful to it to, to his team right now in full reverse. So, um, my torpedoes have 12 kilometers range. So, you know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to uh, give my torps a chance. And yes, we have Normandy. Yes, that's the other boat. Normandy and West Virginia. Uh, these two guys have played had a very very good game so far it looks like we're winning this this game is in a bag we have two caps 670 points they have 222 uh, blah 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 done right ha as that annoying englishman has a habit of saying our team is always capable of snatching a defeat from jaws of victory so 
Let's see how this plays out. See, North Carolina reversing very slow, unmaneuverable, sees my torpedoes and dodges them. So, like I said, sniping with these, maybe just use them as an area denial tool, no more. Just drop them and forget them. So, what do we do? What do we do? Oh yeah, our Fuso tier 6 takes his brave pills and decides to challenge uh, North Carolina. Well, <laughs> that will go as well as you might expect. Our uh, Shukaku is having a good game. The guy is really, really trying to help out, but um, doesn't have much luck with kills yet. Still, another eight torps. Let's see how lucky we get. See, I'm trying to hide behind the islands, trying to avoid the planes. I'm detected right now, but Graf Zeppelin on the enemy team doesn't pay much attention to me, which is very, very lucky to me considering my AA capabilities or lack thereof. As we see, Fuso is just basically melting. Our victory is in sight. That's very optimistic. So, Yudachi has the capability of having a smoke, having an engine boost, and a torpedo reroll booster. I mean, you have the tools, but it's very, very situational. And finally, finally, out of 16 torps launch at him, finally one puts him down. And that's my third kill. So, look at the scores. There's only one cruiser and three bbs on the enemy team two of them being tier six so yeah game in a bag right wrong <laughs> never underestimate the stability of your team never ever so let's see how this plays out uh, by the way 67,000 damage done is so far highly respectable for uh, for you the chick I mean, of course, there are much, much better players than myself. I'm not disputing that. Uh, I made a misplay here, detected by Devonshire, but my Massachusetts will help me out by securing the kill just a couple of seconds before my torpedo hits him. Still, thanks, mate. Appreciate it. And I think we are about to spot the annoying clicker. I'm referring to the CV, not the artillery on World of Tanks, but they're basically the same. And there we go. Devonshire is looking good. These torps are looking good. Yep. Almost. 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 Denied. Ah. Well, whatever. Thank you. Still on 67,000. Seven minutes to go. We are now running out of friends rather rapidly. And I think, I think that one of our tier eights uh, there in uh, B9 was AFK for quite a bit. So West Virginia got a kill for free. Good on you, mate. I wish the Wargaming would do something about the uh, AFK players, but nope. That would, oh, spotted, who did we spot? Graf Zeppelin, thank you very much. So I decide to go CV hunting. The guy seems oblivious, border humping to oblivion, trying to get into another map. And uh, hmm, why not? I mean, apparently he's trying to uh, torpedo the Massachusetts. Seems fairly busy. So let's take the advantage of the positive situation. Torpedoes are reloaded. I'm, I've ran out of boosters. I ran out of the speed boost. So, hmm, too far away. If I didn't take if I if I didn't take the uh, torpedo acceleration, I would be able to uh, shoot from here. Remember, Yudachi has 15 km torpedoes at tier seven. Impressive, really, really impressive. And often you get surprised by just dumping the torpedo soup going away, and half an hour later somebody just runs into him and sinks. It's it's pretty pretty impressive and no one no bb expects to be torpedoed at that distance but 12 kilometers is still very very functional 
I mean, it's not like I, I, I don't like to torp and run. I love to torp and run. But this ship doesn't actually give you a choice. Either you torp and run or you sink. Because any tier 7, let alone tier 8, or God forbid tier 9, will sink you with ease. With ease, without breaking a sweat. You fire every 10 seconds, your turrets turn so slowly the glacial doesn't even begin to describe it. And, and yes, you do have the alpha damage of, of improved uh, IGN HE, that means 2150 damage. So yes, you might scare off somebody unless they know what they're doing. If they know what they're doing, you're boned. And now <laughs> there's only three of us and four of them now. Like I told you, our team... Ah, Stuka bombers. Those sirens are fantastic. I really need to get myself on, on, my hands on, on Graf Zeppelin one of these days. Bugger is expensive. So, he ate uh, several torps and I'm on a whopping 100,003. Oh, and here I do a very, very big mistake. Oh, oopsie. I get myself spotted by Graf Zeppelin and that thing has secondaries capable of ripping me apart. And of course, here comes the bombers. I'm sinking very, very soon. So I'm thinking, you know what? Have some torpedoes. Let's go out in a blaze of glory. Here come the rocket planes. Oh, by the way, maybe you, maybe you noticed, maybe you didn't. I'll just reiterate. Look, five shatters. <laughs> That's a tier eight CV. I've been shooting at him for about what? Couple of couple of salvos, maybe one, two, or possibly three. HE penetrations, rest shatters. So much for guns. But Graf Zeppelin has overextended and it's a flesh wound for me. Four kills, thank you for playing. North Carolina and Bayern, our Bayern, I don't know what this guy is doing. I mean, he, he he's giving broadside to, to West Virginia and to the other Frenchie and he's about to go down. Look at this. Well done, well done. I mean, the enemy, the enemy team, the enemy platoon or, or squadron or whatever name is, is really kicking ass. So well played, Normandy and West Virginia. So we are now at 983 points, almost. But our Bayern decides this is the best time to blow up. Of course, he had to turn in because he would eat a bunch of torps. Our Shokaku manages to kill the North Carolina and turns everything in our favor. So, almost, almost, there we go. Anyway, thank you for watching.